My name is uh, Dr. Jerry Smith and I'm a reader in cultural history. I work in the Department of English uh, at Liverpool John Moores University. This is a play that um, um, I've written based on an episode in the life of uh, James Joyce. James Joyce is a research interest of mine um, and I've also been teaching his books um, and his writing for numerous years on the English programme uh, at undergraduate level and at postgraduate level as well. Um, last year I published a book entitled The Judas Kiss, uh, six um, modern Irish novels and uh, one of those case studies was uh, on James Joyce's Ulysses. Um, I'm writing about betrayal and, and treason in its various manifestations. And I came across an episode in Joyce's life when he was temporarily separated from his lifelong partner, uh, a woman named Nora Barnacle. And um, this is a very crucial period in, in Joyce's life and it fed into all his, his writing in one way or another and made him kind of the really interesting and important writer that, that, that he became. But I thought I needed to try and understand it a bit further. Um, I have close links with colleagues in the Department of Drama and we talked about uh, how, how we might uh, expedite this and uh, we came up with the idea of a kind of dramatic version of the episode based around the, the concept of an exchange of letters between Joyce in Dublin and his partner Nora in Trieste. Um, so Joyce's letters exist, they've all been published, um, at least all the ones that have been found. Uh, there's no sign of a response from, from Nora. So the idea behind the play was really to try and imagine that response, to try to think about how she would have responded to Joyce's accusations of infidelity, what she felt about being the partner of a so-called great man, at least a great man in waiting, and, uh, and so on. Um, and that's, that's how the play, the idea for the play, uh, was initially conceived. Marginal Irish Modernisms is an international research network that's headed up by myself and a colleague from the Department of English, uh, Dr. Deglon O'Donnelly. Um, we applied for funds to the uh, AHOC, the Arts and Humanities Research Council, and were awarded uh, a, a significant amount to develop this program over um, a period of time. Part of that application involved uh, the description of a full um, program of public engagement events uh, to accompany all the uh, academic events that we, we proposed. Uh, we had our first event in London uh, last November um, and the public engagement aspect of that was a full day of films and talks um, and workshops at the Hammersmith Irish Centre. We have a second event in Dublin in May, uh, whereas besides the academic event at Trinity College in the city, we have a series of talks and workshops at the National Gallery in Dublin. And we're finishing off in September with an international conference here at John Moores. And again, there's a whole programme of events um, being currently developed for that, including another play, um, a public lecture and um, various workshops. So the, the two of them are kind of fully integrated. This play is part of that, insofar as it falls within the remit of marginal Irish modernisms. Uh, that research network is about trying to retrieve some of the lost voices from the um, modernist period, the lost kind of Irish cultural voices. And certainly Nora Barnacle's voice fits into that, that, that kind of model. She's somebody who's been elbowed to the margins or the footnotes of Irish cultural history and this play is attempting to put her back centre stage, literally. Well, I hope the play will send people back to Joyce or perhaps even send them to Joyce for the first time with a different perspective on both his work and his reputation. The idea is to kind of um, ex explicate aspects of his work that are not normally accessible through either reading it or, or reading about it. Um, this is a kind of counterfactual contribution in some ways in which we, it's an imaginative uh, response to Joyce's work which tries to account for some aspects of what he wrote about and why he wrote the way he did um, and, and trying to kind of engage um, audiences on a level which, which is both entertaining as well as educational is one of the kind of key um, ideas that we're interested in, certainly in the Department of English, but 
as I understand it, the university as a whole. So I think this kind of work speaks to that very readily and I think it's something that we really need to develop in the university. Uh, it's certainly it's there in part of the, as part of the teaching and learning program, um, but there's no reason why we shouldn't develop it in, in more kind of um, interesting um, and, and explorative ways also.